Most visitors to Japan often seek out the city of Kyoto when looking to escape the madness of Tokyo and get a feel for the more traditional side of city living. Located to the northwest, on the outskirts of the city lies a small district called Arashiyama. It's one of the most famous parts of Kyoto and home to one of Japan's many UNESCO World Heritage Sites, Tenryuji Temple and Sagano Bamboo Grove. Despite the literal translation of Arashiyama being Storm Mountain, it's actually an incredibly delightful and tranquil place. As the cityscape fades out and blends seamlessly into the mountains, Arashiyama has a very traditional vibe and it's easy to forget that you're still in the seventh largest metropolis in Japan. There's a lot on offer in this sleepy suburb, but there's one place in particular I would say that offers a truly unique experience. Today we've come to Awatayama Monkey Park, one of the local hotspots which is visited by hundreds of monkey loving guests every single day. We are currently climbing Arashiyama, I want to say mountain, because it's bloody steep. We're around two, three hundred meters off the floor, and we've only been walking for two minutes. The ramp goes up pretty steep, but at the top, we're off to meet some monkeys, so uh, hopefully we won't get devoured. There's a lot of danger signs around. Uh, apparently you're not supposed to look the monkeys in the eyes. You're not supposed to get within three meters of the monkeys. You're not supposed to show them any food. Basically you're not, allowed, you're not supposed to do a lot of things with the monkeys. So I'm kind of wondering if we should be coming up here at all, but I, don't know, I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. The descent goes up quite rapidly and the canopy of trees really seals in that exotic climate. The harsh incline in addition to the overbearing humidity ensures that you'll be sweating profusely after the first few steps of your journey to the top. Thankfully this is common knowledge and there is a strategically placed air conditioner room at the end of the trail. We've only been walking for four minutes and uh, we've already had to take refuge in the air conditioner room. Uh, I think a lot of people have the same idea though. It's quite busy in here. This is literally the most humid place on earth. It's gross. Oh. With the refreshment of the aircon room being made obsolete within seconds of leaving it, we press forward to complete the last 100 metres of our ascent. So we made it to the, the summit of what I call a mountain, most would call a hill. Fortunately to my poor cardiovascular abilities. Uh, we've reached Arashiyama Monkey Park um, and there's just an incredible view of Kyoto as well. Um, there's a lot of monkeys up here already, there's probably about 20 that I can see so far, including a super cute baby one over there. So we're, gonna, we're definitely going to go say hello in a minute. Uh, it's about, so I'm looking, don't have a watch on, it's about 12 o'clock right now. Yeah, we're going to have a look around and find out exactly what these monkeys get up to. Owatayama Monkey Park is home to a troop of around 170 Japanese macaque monkeys. They are completely wild and native to the region, but as most smart animals will quickly learn, being cute and getting friendly with humans will score you a near limitless supply of food and these monkeys are certainly capitalising on that fact. Located near the peak of Watayama is a small visitor centre and in an ironic twist acts as a kind of human zoo. Visitors can go inside and watch the monkeys through the mesh wire windows. Bags of sliced bananas are also on sale inside the shack. Because the monkeys are wild, food is banned outside and must be given to your new friends through the wire windows. This guy's just waiting for food. He, d he just knows he's going to get it as well. <laughs> oh my god, how cute that baby. There you go. Oh, you can't steal it. No, no, you won't. His hands are too small to hold the bananas. Come on, Fatty. I'm going to want some more. <laughs> As soon as he eats hurry. the piece, his hands are straight back through. There you go. That's what. Yeah. Last one. 
<laughs> look, he knows the bag's empty, look. So fat, I can't believe it. Ridiculous. This trip being wild also means that there are many generations cohabiting the area together. And while I would say that all the monkeys were equally cute, it was certainly the youngsters that were stealing the show. <laughs> Being able to walk amongst these animals in their natural environment was really a special experience and one I would highly recommend to anyone visiting Kyoto. After a good hour of monkeying around, we decided it was time to return to the base of the mountain. Waiting for us there are our shiny two-wheeled chariots. Arashiyama is a great place to go for a relaxing bike ride on a sunny summer's day and bikes can be rented from a shop near the station for around 900 yen per day. If you plan accordingly like we did however, you may be able to find an Airbnb apartment with two bikes included. As you head into the central area, you'll see Togetsukyo Bridge. It crosses over the Katsura River and joins the two sides of the town together. Interestingly, the river actually has two names depending on which side of the river you're on. From the east side it is Katsura but from the west side it is known as Hozu River. The river comes down from the hills and seemingly carves the area in half, creating a stunning view and has become the centre point for most of the local activity. Looking upstream you'll see rental boats scattered across the surface of the river. In the shallows of the water under the bridge you might find a few of the locals casting out their nets in hope of catching an evening meal. Across the banks are a few perfect relaxation spots where you can take a load off and dip your hairy toes in the cool, refreshing water. After hiking up a mountain on a 30 degree summer's day, this is most definitely a welcome rest stop. Passing over to the other side, we headed for our next destination, Arashiyama's Sanago Bamboo Grove. Situated next door to the Tenryuji Zen Temple, the grove is certainly a place of serene beauty. The only downside to a place like this is that everybody else in town thinks it's beautiful too, so it can get fairly busy. If you're intent on beating the crowds, you may have a more isolated experience visiting very early in the morning. We're now in the bamboo forest of uh, Arashiyama. And it's, uh, it's quite amazing. It's bloody humid in here, and there's, uh, there's about four million mosquitoes that seem to only be wanting to eat me. But I'll assume that's because I've got delicious blood. It's, uh, it's very, it's very serene, and it's just as, a, just as you'd imagine it from uh, any kind of film or storybook. Just all the bamboo, very perfectly vertical, um, narrow path cut through the middle, and there's a few ginger little shrines in the middle as well. It's a really, really cool place. All these extra bodies, however, still didn't manage to block out the absolute magic of the bamboo grove. Tens of thousands of bamboo trees planted in close proximity, giving it that distinctly Japanese atmosphere of having nature bent to your majestic vision. You may even spot a few of the groundkeepers at work, keeping up to scratch with a spot of maintenance. If you'd like to visit Iwatayama Monkey Park, it's open all year round, and admission is a measly 550 yen for adults and 250 yen for children. Opening times can vary depending on the weather and the monkey's activity, so be sure to visit their website beforehand. The bamboo grove is slightly cheaper to explore at 500 yen, and most of the surrounding temples and gardens only charge small admission fees for the ones you'd like to visit. Links for these can be found below in the description. Thank you for checking out Kantan Japan. If you enjoy this video then please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for future adventures. If you want to support us further then head over to our Patreon page and become part of our community. 
Failing that, we also accept sarcastic comments down below.